Hello, here I am with Jose Medrado. He is a trans medium from Brazil and he paints. He is not a painter, but a medium. Various artists paint through him, the artwork. He has just done a demonstration that I would like you to see. And not only on video, if you have the opportunity to see it in person, I totally recommend it because I have no words. Thank you very much. Hello, Jose. How are you? <laughs> very relaxed, a little tired after work, but fine. It has been awesome. Yes, it seems. Yes. I don't know what to say because I'm like... I love your paintings. They are magical. As you can see, here there are two. Have you seen them? As you were in trance? Yes, but now I have seen it. It is a Brazilian Portenay and Van Gogh. And there are others that you can see in another video. Well, how long have you been doing this work? I'm a medium since I was seven years old. I started seeing my grandmother, my father's mother. Then from there, with a very Catholic family, I went for a process until I knew the spiritualist doctrine. At 15 years old, at the age of 17, I founded the institution that I now run. It happened with difficulty, as I mentioned to people during the talk. At the end of the 80s, Renoir appeared to me and asked me to do this with the paintings, because he wanted to help keep the social work. And from there I went to test this. I had no knowledge of anyone. I always talk about this and even today it was also the decade of the 80s in Brazil, in my city, nothing. Renoir was not known, nothing. Renoir asked me to paint and I said, what is Renoir? There was no Google yet. When I tried it was Mr. Van Gogh, the first spirit that painted through me. Renoir made the connection, but Van Gogh was the first to paint. So special. It was very interesting. I didn't have any knowledge myself. There was the song Beethoven Symphony Number no. 9 being played and Van Gogh painted Beethoven and it was a horror because I had no knowledge how it happened. With no art knowledge. Yes, right. And Renoir said that it was important I did not know about art. Exactly. Otherwise I could not make a preference of the styles, of the colours, of the themes, which I was then like a blank canvas. So for them this was great. Totally a channel, as they say, you are a brush. Yes, a living brush. Without him having any experience in drawing, being just a medium, they use him to paint without having any interferences or preferences. Otherwise, he will say, oops, no, I'm going to paint it like this. And the painters, they are with the canvas. Then we do the work above the table without any drawing, study, nothing, absolutely nothing. It is a mixture of the paintings, that's the thing, in its point. Yeah, with no expectations, it just appears. Yes, right, in a time of five minutes, because they work in five to fifteen or seventeen minutes. 
15, desde 7 minutos. Yeah, and this has been very fast. They have been around 5 to 8 minutes each one. What other forms of mediumship have you done? And what led you to be a trans painter? As I said, it was Renoir's invitation that I started doing this with the intention of really being two purposes. The first is to make the paintings in parts as the proposal of Renoir himself. And the second attempt was to get attention. How to do this? What happens? How is it possible for people to think? I don't have the goal of changing faith, beliefs of anyone. But people look at it. What happened? What was here? What do I see? So these two goals were always themes from the spirits. Always, always, always. So with this, they are sowing the seed of hope, of the certainty of the continuity of life, of the immortality of the soul. And I think that right now, there is a great disagreement between people. There is a growing process of depression, of anguish, and these things I think is very important. A contribution of value, of hope, of trust that they offer with the paintings. Exactly, because they are all very positive and very cheerful colors. You can notice the vibration that comes from the paintings. A while ago, there was a study done on the paintings done by trans painters. Research was done by a professional painter. It was done with a piece of cloth which was cut made with a quill machine and done with ultrasonography, another sound I do not know what it is called. Ultrasound. Ultrasound. Then it was perceived that there was very pr pronounced light in the mediumistic paintings and that this light was not in the professional painter's painting and the paintings were done in the same time frame. It was an interesting study. Proven test. At least for people to see that there is something else. Yeah. Yes, there is a beyond. That things which normally our eyes cannot see, the camera and science can finally capture. But Einstein had a very interesting way of understanding. Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. Then it is necessary that a link is made between faith and science. I think that these studies are also important for this. True? Human evolution. Yes, always. There are questions that were always on our minds. Who am I? Where did I come from? Where am I going? then we have to offer at least one source of capturing some study of something so that people have direction, at least to think about it. Exactly. And another question. What do you do as a medium before painting? Ah, yes, sure. I was working until now with clairvoyance, healing, also calligraphy and the psychophony. So I always worked in these mediumistic areas, also the sculpture. Also, how do you get into trance and how do you allow spirit to work through you? I put myself totally at their disposal. I concentrate myself, I do a short, quick prayer, then there is a shock that goes through my spine. And from there I go into trance. 
I am not unconscious yet, but I have no awareness of what is around me. I don't see things precisely. I always make the comparison when someone is put under general anesthesia for surgery and all you can hear is things far away. So it's more like that. But I always intend to be with a clean mind. Generally, is like moments of a meditation where you are lying down in a rest time. I am there, ready. Cleansing the mind to let them act in your space. Yes, exactly, because there is sound of a lot of people. It's a huge mix of vibrations. And this creates a perceptual confusion, let's say. I need to be with my channels clear as possible. Exactly for them to have access without difficulty. No interferences. No interferences. As you are the brush, the brush must be clean to start painting and cannot be stained with thoughts, ideas or pains. True, that comparison was accurate. Exactly this. I learnt and from now on I will be saying this example. True, the brush must be cleaned so that the paint does not get dirty. Where do you go when you are in trance? I do not leave me, I am in myself, but as I said, I do not have a precise presence of things that are around me, of a deep state. Of what? I don't speak Spanish, I speak Portuguese. That's the mixture of Portuguese with Spanish. I had weight, weight as inflated. I feel this way too, as expansive. Yes. Expansion, but I am in myself. Perfect. I love it. Who are your Thank you. Who are your spiritual helpers that paint through you? There are more than 100 spirits, but the general coordinator is Ren Renoir. Pierre Augustine Renoir is the coordinator of all who are going to paint at that time. Then I turn to him mentally because he is closer to me and has the control. Let's say about the process, including him and others as well. Very well. And we have already answered this, but how long does it take to paint an image? It has been very fast here. Is it always that fast? Yes, always, but there are the workshop paintings. Those workshop jobs take much longer. In general, they are classic, from Da Vinci, Greco, so they work in more than an hour. But always have more details, and it continues to be quick painting with a wealth of detail. An hour, an hour and a half is also impressive, I think. It is enough to finish the job. They took months to paint many times. Yes. A painting wasn't ready within minutes or hours. They were made in days and months, even years. But since there is no time in spirit, they have to adapt to the time you are using to paint, then maybe that's why you do it so fast. True, and I think as a telephone signal, for example, it's like I hear it now. Here it is, let's communicate, and then you lose the reception. So at that time, it is necessary to catch it. To focus all the energy. Focus this, the energy. I always say it's like it's a concentration, an explosion. Yes, and then this moment, the realization that it is imprinted finishes. That's why you are in a trance, because you are totally present for the painter to do his job. And magic. 
And that moment, the moment is more of them than me. It's not me, it's from them. So they are doing it their own way. And so there we go. Very good. What is the purpose of the auctions? It is the maintenance of our social work. I invite everyone to look at our website. Here you will see all the work we do. We have more than 200 volunteers and we work with children. We have a school, medical and dentist department, do psychological work, all kinds of work is necessary for the community that are in need in Salvador de Bahia, in Brazil. All this work isn't done with government support. This work comes from the people who help and this is how we do it. Everyone helping, starting from the painting. Yes, yes. And with the brush. Yes, as I said, Renoir himself changed paintings into breads. It is a charitable work, charity action, and happily, there is need. There are Latin American countries like Brazil, where poverty and all kinds of difficulty is very big. Those who are in the United States and Europe don't have an idea of the need of these people who are not so lucky and who live in Latin America. Thank you. Thanks to you. Another question. What role does the public play when you are painting? When there is a mental disagreement of energy, there is a difficulty. They do not achieve it and the production does not go as well. It is a work of collaboration, energy, balance, peace. Exactly, because all people play an important role when they are present. Yes, correct. There are energies that add up, energies that come together and multiply. And it is like a group healing process also. It is not only the paintings, but what is happening while you are painting. People go through a healing process in some way. Yes, exactly, because the energy that is produced at the moment is a very strong energy then you can't lose that energy. It needs to be channeled, addressed, and the healing process occurs, helping people who are in need too. And this continues, because then the people who have the paintings in their house, there is a purpose too. All the people who see it, it is really art. Art as an expression. True. And art manifest somehow. Yes, and we have the knowledge that everything has energy. Everything is energy. The theory of relativity speaks of this. What we think is material is not. It is a condensed energy. The expression of the creation, also of the colors. The colors are vibrations. The vibrational spectrum of colors today with chromotherapy is a reality, it works. There are studies that talk about this, then everything converging for greater help. Exactly. And before finishing, I think um, it's not a question, but it's like, what would you say to people who don't know about your work? What would you tell them about your purpose, about your spirit, the mission that you have now on earth in this life? What would you say to people who do not know your work? What is the reason why your spirit is channeling the paintings?
I have always said, and I remember, a spirit saying that life only is to live if it is were to do good, no matter to who, to do good always, because it comes and goes. And the biggest benefit of the act of helping is not who receives the help, but who offers it. So I think not as a mission, but proposal of life. I was a very poor child. I was hungry. I went through a lot of difficulties. So this established in me a will. One day I will do for children what I didn't have the opportunity to have those things. Then it was from there that my life goal was created. I was a public servant. I worked for the Brazilian government in Brazil. It is a contest that is made to enter. Then I had my profession. With my profession I lived, but I have another side, the spiritual side, to help. I always say this, do good, this does very good to the person who does it. And I think that the world is full of good, and of people who do it too. Great! Thank you, very kind. Thank you very much. To you. And we have another video where you can see he painting, and you can see it in the link below. And also, I would like you to have a look at his website, ciudaddelaluz.com.br. It has an orphanage and it helps many people who do not have the possibility of being helped by the government. All the money from the auctions go to help these people and it is very nice to see what he does in Brazil. I hope you liked this video and that this inspired you too and motivated you to take action. As he says that the most important thing is to do good because it is not for the receiver but for all. It is true, and in addition to all this, I think that the realization of the mutual work among the groups of people and of us with the afterlife, because in truth, it is only a life with a different aspect, the physical and the spiritual. And I hope you have managed to understand me, because my Spanish is squished. It is very good. Very friendly, thank you. Thank you very much. See you.